Good morning, YouTube. It's um, a beautiful morning. Today is May 11th, 2015. It is the, you know, I couldn't tell you, it is the anniversary of my parents' death, but I don't know how long. I know they died in 94. You do the math if, if you want. But only our Lord and Savior could have me rejoicing on such a day. And that is for another time and another video. But I am rejoicing. Look at that bird. I am rejoicing for more than just one reason. Um, I had a vision. And um, he wanted me to privately share with um, Catherine, Sister Catherine, Mama... I mean, um, daughter of Zion, um, and the ladies that live with them, Ruth and um, Tim Timothy, Sister Timothy, and um, this was not a dream. This was an actual vision yesterday, last night, as I was um, as I was laying down um, because I've been sick, and he's been working on me. And that, I'll, I'll talk about that later, uh, concerning our health. We need to know certain things um, that he revealed to me, but that he said that, that the, he wanted me to share the vision with you first. So here it goes. Uh, I was laying down, and I um, was pick, pick, picking up um, frame by frame. It was a very slow moving, very slow moving. It was like at least, it would take um, probably three minutes uh, for one form to change to another, but while it was changing, I could see frame by frame moving slowly in very slow motion. And it was a picture of Ben Franklin at first. It was very clear. Um, I think he's on the hundred dollar bill. You know, I haven't seen a. I'm proud to say, I have not seen a hundred dollar bill in a long time since my Roman days. <laughs> so, <laughs> excuse me. <coughs> But that's funny to me, but I think he's on the $100 bill. But, uh, you know, really all that is go is coming to pass very soon. So it, it really doesn't matter. And we rejoice. We that are in Christ rejoice over that. Because that's a, there's a lot of pain involved with this uh, money situation, with the money problem, with the commerce that Satan placed before us. So, um, okay, so there's a picture of Ben Franklin. So I said, well... Okay, am I seeing this? Because, you know, you're going to question when you're having your first visions. And um, all of a sudden, not all of a sudden, in very slow motion, um, Ben Franklin's mouth starts becoming the shape of a monkey's. Okay, it's still Ben Franklin's eyes, it's still his nose, but his mouth is the shape of a, of an, of a monkey. And then it goes on and on and on and seems like it's taking forever. And then um, Ben Franklin's um, suddenly holding a, f a baby that is uh, uh, still in the fetus age, okay? And this is, this is gross. Just bear with me, okay? Bear with me because there's, the explanation will make sense of all this at the end. So suddenly... Um, I'm going, why am I seeing Ben Franklin in his mouth the shape of a, of a, of a monkey? And it's very clear. And then suddenly he's holding a baby. And when I look down at, at Ben Franklin's body, he's literally in a surgeon. You know how the surgeons wear that plastic so they don't get blood on them? He's wearing that. He's wearing that. And he's in a car, believe it or not. He's in the back of a limousine is what I'm thinking, is what I'm in. But I don't see the limousine. I just see the car seat. But I know he's in the back seat. So, of course, Ben Franklin would probably, if he was going to be living in the time of cars, it would be he would be in a limo, of course. So, um, But that's not made clear. He's just in the back seat of something. And um, anyway, um, he's sitting there with, um, with a, a fetal baby, holding the baby. And the baby is going slowly into his mouth and the b top of the baby's head it's like a fetal baby and it's still in the fetal position it's it's fully formed but it's tiny tiny like you could hold it in your hand in your you know one hand so he's gnawing on like a dog 
that gnaws on or a cat that gnaws on its prey before it takes a bite, okay, out of its prey. Um, you know how they lick and all that. Well, he wasn't licking. He was just holding it in his monkey mouth, okay? <laughs> this sounds weird, I know. And so it's there it's for a long time. And I'm not moving away. But then I think, well, if I, I, I'm going to look away in case I think I'm just seeing this, you know? So I look away and I look back. It's still there, plain as day. And um, now, eventually, it turns into twin babies that are beautiful babies they're both white babies they're probably at nine months old he's holding them both in his hands in his in his hands that have surgeon he's got that surgeon stuff all over him on on his body part and he's holding the babies to his mouth and they're the the mouth is a monkey mouth and he's kind of like gnawing but he's not biting on the babies he's not there's no blood or anything. It's just he's gnawing on the tops of their heads. And they're not crying. The babies are not crying. The babies are asleep. And this this goes on for, I don't know, it seems like eternity. But I bet you it's about three minutes, if not longer. And then I look away and I look back and still same thing. And then, su- then all of a sudden, slowly, slowly, the picture, uh, Ben Franklin just like turns into Yeshua okay and because I've never seen I you know we we fight about what he looks like all the time you know we know he came from the tribe of Judah but the but the background on my wall was white do you see so they weren't really showing I guess they were showing colors okay but Yeshua's appearance came out and I decided to say if you are the false messiah I rebuke you okay but he's holding the babies and I say if you are because I'm new at this you know I rebuke you in the name of Ahiah Bahashim Yeshaya and he smiles at me and then I know that it is Yeshua I know that this is Yeshua and he's holding the babies and he's in the place of Ben Franklin Okay, Ben Franklin's gone. And he's holding those babies to him. And then I know, I know, um, I know that it is him. And, and so I will show you what he looked like. Um, I have a video called um, uh, When Angels Fall. And I asked him, is because I asked him all this stuff afterwards to verify, you know, did I see this right? Did I see this right? Okay, let me just say something. Also, he had sunglasses on. That's another thing that kind of uh, stirred me in the in the area of suspicion, right? I've been very obedient. Now, I'm not bragging. I'm letting my sisters know that I have been very obedient. Um, I haven't eaten any pork, and that's a small thing, but it's still very important for our health. I haven't, um, you know, I've been just very close to him because I'm not going to work. So um, he has me home. He has me home. And um, so uh, they've been doing spiritual surgery on me. Um, They did it over the weekend on my belly. And that's another story. But because I've been obedient, that's why I was more confident. But I still had to rebuke any line uh, you know, just for risk of that. But anyway, he kind of smiled, but it wasn't exactly a smile. Um, but it was a warmth. It was a warmth that came out of him. And then I said, what's with the, okay, this is, I hate questioning my, my savior. Why would I do that? You know, please forgive me, but what's with the glasses? And he says, they're not glasses. They're welding helmet. He said, he explained it like they were glasses, made like glasses to cover his eyes so that he would not hurt my eyes. And I hope that you guys can make more sense even out of what, I mean, that's completely sensible. That's, he said, uh, he could not look at me in the, in the format that they, this is so exciting to me now that I'm talking about it. Well, in the format that they, that they decided to um, come through me with the visions, the way they fixed my, and this is, let's, let's remember, this is under the Holy Spirit. So this is, I don't even like using this word because Satan has totally turned the word into uh, an evil 
thing, but the third eye that the Holy Spirit is working on through me, um, in the way that he, and he's going to be working through us in different ways, in different ways. Some of us, he said, are going to be seeing night vision, some of, you know, just different things, you know. But in this particular way, it was a, it was kind of a practice session, um, to get my third eye adjusted, um, and, um, it, let me just say this, I think Mama Dang is going to, I mean, I don't know why I keep calling you that, uh, Daughter of Zion is going to probably tap into this even more than, than what I can at all, period, but my left eye was the, was the, um, the eye that was affected after this, okay, but let me not get off the track here, okay, so he had, what he explained to me afterward was that, okay, let me explain, I'm so excited, please forgive me, let me slow down, <laughs> okay, th this is, this is how he explained the vision, Ben Franklin represents the dead presidents, the Luciferians, okay, and apparently, he is the representative of them, he was the, the most deceitful one, um, out of all of them, and don't think that Kennedy was not a Luciferian, because I have strong feelings that, well, that his dad uh, uh, absolutely was one of the 13 illumined families, but anyway, he tried to do right, and he got, he got, he got punished for it by the Luciferians, because he didn't have Yeshua on his side, see, so that happens, um, I'm going off the track, I'm digressing, so okay, this is the thing. Ben Franklin represented the dead presidents, the Luciferians. Um, the monkey's mouth represented the bestiality, um, the things the Bible has always talked about, but now we're learning, a lot of us like me, not, not you guys necessarily, but I learned backwards. I, lear I learned from the Luciferian perspective forward to, towards Yeshua, okay? So then we are shocked when we don't have Yeshua's blessing, right? But, but, but anyway, the, the thing is, is that um, it represented the, the bestiality that they partake in. Um, and of course, the, the gnawing of the baby's heads were um, the abominations and the, um, the practices that they, t that, they f that they have all partaken in regarding... Um, the um, the uh, eating of dead fetuses, eating eating babies, killing babies, all that, um, and you can tell that I'm under his his grace because it's hard it's hard for us to talk about that. But then when we're under his grace, it, we know it's heinous, but he he covers us with with his blessing to be able to talk about it. So yeah, they um, you know we we know they do that. We we know they do that because. Because the, the guy who tells the truth, the, the man up there that tells the truth, told us that. So we know that, but he wanted, he wanted me, he was, like I said, this was a practice session. I'm very excited about it. Anyway, so then um, that represented that, okay, them, the dead presidents. Um, and then, um, um, of course, Yeshua holding those babies um, you know, that right there, uh, the glasses that he had on were so that, um, they were welding helmet glasses. They were that thick. Okay. And, um, they were that thick so that when he, so that he wouldn't hurt my eyes. Um, morning. morning. Good. How are you? And so, um, all praise and glory to the most high. Let me think about uh, this. Oh yeah. So he's coming to. Um, um, and, you know, to avenge all the babies, um, that died at the hands of these Luciferians, and Benjamin Franklin happens to be the, the head, the head guy of, that seems to be, um, leading that crusade, you know, I mean, he was the best at it, I, I, I would even say over Winston Churchill, because otherwise the vision would have been about w Winston Churchill, you know, and Winston, I, when I was in, living in my Roman days, I really thought the world of him, because he had the best witty remarks that, even over Kennedy, I thought, you know, um, but we know where that all comes from now, 
and um, and it's all temporary. It's all temporary. And this vision, if you can help and um, e either send me an email or or um, you know or or drop me a line at um, uh, clouds to see at gmail dot com is my is my gmail and i'd also like to say no offense this is, is comes with love but daughter of zion um mary um baby mary this is how the lord revealed to me i already told you i know i already gmailed you this but when he said that he wants her to be a witness to these things she can't be a witness in the car that's how he explained it to me i don't know I have no real ability to say things with, um, I'm still trying to learn humility, so please forgive me, but that's, that's it, how the Spirit had moved me, and then he kept telling me to mention it to you, and then when you said you understood, I, you know, you knew that, I, I knew you knew that, but it doesn't indicate that with the videos leaving her in the car, because if you're doing his work, is how he explained it to me, then she's protected. You can have her out in, you know, the wind. It's his wind. It's his world. He's not going to bring any hurt, harm to the baby. And I know, because I have, I'm having issues with my daughter right now. He's working spiritually on my daughter right now as we speak, and I, and I have to trust in him completely. So it's, um, it's all, you know, layers, layers, layers of love and faith, and kindness, and um, we have to. Um, realize that pretty soon I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, we'll be being able to not have to use these these cameras these iPods these these um, Satan induced technology that is all temporary so that's all I'll say and have a blessed day um, I rejoice today amen hallelujah <laughs>